What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. In the 13w39 snapshot, Mojang removed the limitation of the length of a comment in a command block and now it is possible to have really long commands, nearly infinitely long. And so I wrote a filter to convert an entity to a slash summon command block. For example, um, I have these command blocks here, both were generated with the filter, the buttons weren't, I added them later. And if I click here, I summoned this horse, um, he has some custom MBT, um, which you can see because he has the name tag Billy the Boss. And whenever I spawn one, it looks in the same direction and so on. So I have my Billy the Bosses here. and. Here I have that zombie and he seems to glitch a bit, I don't know why, but he sometimes, he always wants to be like in sort of the ground, don't know why, um, just turn my sound a bit down, and I don't know what this is, maybe a snapshot bug, um, but yeah, um, I want to show you how to create one of these command blocks, so I'll first create an entity, um, which will be a falling sand entity to show you that it's possible with any entity, not only mobs. I right click, then this sand block is falling down, which means it is an entity. And I'll head over to MC Edit after quitting my world and show you what to do. Okay, I'm here in MC Edit and you see these red cubes here are the entities, like um, these maybe some zombies and these may be the horses I don't know actually but this one was our quartz pillar block so what we have here is the falling sand entity so what we do is we just select um, the entity we want to have in a command block and then we select the entity to summon filter adjusted filter and it creates a command block somewhere near the entity and it removes the entity so here in minecraft I just put a button um, to the command block and you see it always summons a falling sand entity at the same position with the same velocity you see it's already pretty fast and this is just the whole command um, for the zombie it's way longer so you may see it's really long and it puts the coordinates of where it was when you ran the filter um, here at the beginning of the command you obviously can just change them and the entity will spawn somewhere else for example if I want to have it uh, around there at um, X position of 460.5 it spawns back there so this is really no problem um, the filter was pretty easy to do um, the download link is as always in the description and see you next time thanks for watching